Accepting help is acknowledging that you are not God, that you, God doesn't need help from anyone, but you as a human being need a whole lot of help to get things done. And it's hard to accept help from others. We, we talk all day long about whether or not women can have it all. And the reality is that we, while we might not be working outside the home, we believe we can have it all inside the home. We believe we can get everything done and be super mom and never accept help from anyone else. And that's just that's not true. Like some people have greater capacities than others. Some people can get more things done in a given day. But there's going to come a point where all of us break and all of us need help. And we need to accept, humbly accept the help of others. We need to accept the fact that we're not God, that we can't have it all, and we need to, to let things go. One of the real tangible ways that we can accept help if we're in the home is to accept the help of our husbands. It's really hard to let go of control. You're with your kids all day, you're the one who keeps everything together, and you don't want to accept the help of your husband because he does it differently than you. He doesn't maybe put the dishes in the dishwasher the same way you do. He doesn't fold the laundry the same way you do. But he was given to you by God to, to contribute to the work of the home. The work of the home is not for you only. It's for your entire family. So you can accept the help of your husband. You can even accept the help of your children, even if they don't put the toys away as easily and, and, and perfectly as you would like them to. We are all contributors to the work of the home. And so we need to be able to accept that the home is not the pinnacle of our greatness. It's for the good of the world. And by accepting help, we acknowledge that we're all contributors to the work of the home.